So today is Ashraf day. Today is Ashraf day. Well, today, of course, Ali said, hey, Ashraf is coming. And I was like, OK, cancel everything. <laughs> I have to go meet this guy. <laughs> Y stands for Women in Science and Engineering, and what we do is a program for any of our female identifying non-binary STEM majors, students that are on campus. So today is Ashraf Day, and Ashraf is um, coming to Y's at Iowa State, and um, it's just a, an exciting time overall. I know Ashraf is such a cool guy, um, and I'm just really excited to see where, where today goes. <laughs> Is the, <laughs> the first Iowa State University Ashraf Day? <laughs> <laughs> Who gets an Ashraf Day? I mean, my God, you know? When we finally got a day to work out for Ashraf to come and visit with us, um, you know, three, three, four years in the making with COVID throwing a hitch and everything, we decided that we wanted his visit to be the biggest, greatest, most amazing day ever for him. And we could really put a face to who um, is giving us so much support on the daily. We're going to Iowa State University. Uh, that's where this organization is called uh, Women in Science and Engineering. And uh, engineering tends to be a male-dominated uh, uh, profession. And uh, I just think uh, uh, we need more women in science and engineering. It just, uh, uh, just from an education standpoint, just for proliferating technology into the younger generation, I think uh, it's just a very, very important aspect that I think this uh, organization serves, and uh, I think it's had quite an, quite an amazing impact. So we'll see. We'll see today. I'm an aerospace engineering student. I am one of 20%. Like currently, I'm the only woman in my senior design class. And so going through your education and not really seeing a lot of you, um, it, it's hard uh, to be completely honest. And so it takes a lot of grit to continue going. And having a program like WISE and having a supporter like Ashraf, who is able to say like, it's okay that you're struggling, like we're here to support you through that. Um, it really makes a load of difference in being able to continue and actually, you know, graduate with my degree and then go make a difference in the industry that I'm really excited about. Women in science and technology are just so badly needed in the sense that men have been running this world and look at what a mess it's in, you know? So you are the future leaders of not just this profession of being any kind of technology, but you are the leaders of humanity in the future. But today, I just want to tell you it's an amazing profession that you're involved in. I didn't know that I wanted to be a structural engineer, and it turned out to be amazing. And then software development came along, I started doing that. Try everything. Don't go looking for your passion because you don't know what your passion is. When you try everything, your passion will find you. My class is a course to help women gain confidence in themselves, and I knew that Ashraf's message would be fantastic and he'd be fun. But knowing just what I know about him and seeing all the things he's done, I kind of wanted to turn the tables on him and provide some surprises for him. So I contacted Cy the mascot and the marching band to try to put something together for him. So, Ashraf, first of all, we want to uh, just give you a huge thank you uh, because it's really important to know, uh, those of you that are in the WISE 201 class, if you're in the class and you love your peer facilitators and your nests, all of that happens because of Ashraf. If you've gotten a WISE scholarship, yeah. Um, so, those places and all of those things that you get to do on a regular basis um, at WISE is all because of our visionary, our wonderful, transformative oh. um, partner um, who helps us um, do everything um, and take the, what we do well, light it up um, with heart and love and style. And because of that, we want to make sure that we Asheraf it a little more for you today. Well, it
It was awesome. Um, so the 35-piece marching band was comprised of all females, mostly in STEM majors. Um, they they crushed the the songs. They they lightened it up. It was great. It has humanized him a little. He's this like really cool guy who has provided so much to our program. So it's cool to see that he's not just like an elusive man. You know, he's a real person who does provide things to our um, program just because he wants to. I mean, he doesn't have any ties to Iowa State, so it's really cool to like see him here. Well, I'm originally from Pakistan, and my dad uh, sold his house to actually send me so I could go to Berkeley. Uh, and, but even after selling his house, it only paid for two quarters. The program was three quarters. So on the third quarter, I was on my own. So I got a job here as a security guard, made a dollar eighty-five an hour, collected a bunch of money, but even towards the end to cover my living expenses and still all of that stuff, I needed five hundred dollars. So uh, I tried to get money from the school, but it was, unemployment was very high. Ronald Reagan was governor and they were cutting back all the programs at the university for financial aid. So one of the professors, my graduate advisor, he told me, I will write you a check for $500, okay? You don't have to pay it back, but I know a time will come where you will pass this on many times over. Now people ask me why I do this for wise. I do it because I owe this to you. And I know that a time will come where anything that you have received, you know, as a gift from WISE to do the amazing education that you're trying to achieve, uh, you will pass it on to others when the time is right. And so the world turns. During the pandemic, when we weren't able to do a lot of face-to-face -face programming, um, but students were really struggling financially, and so uh, the dollars from Ashraf provided a large number of scholarships um, for students, so over 150,000 in scholarships. And so he was able to really be that person that made that difference, is allowing students to um, graduate that we're not going to be able to. So my experience with Y started um, when the pandemic started. Things changed for my parents back home. I was not able to afford school anymore. And at that point, I'd sort of given up on my degree because it was obvious that I was not going to be able to afford to finish it. And I was just, you know, very depressed, just sitting. And I mean, I'm religious, so I was praying about it. And suddenly I look at my phone and there's this email someone I'd never heard from before saying, hey, looks like you're struggling with school. You know about WISE, we're gonna help you out. I didn't look for them. <laughs> they literally went out looking for people who needed it. So suddenly I wasn't struggling alone, you know, 11,000 miles away from home. I, I guess I, I could show you my emails, but I think I literally cried both times. I literally just cried because, you know, I was just like praying on my knees. What am I going to do? This is like my entire future hangs on this. I'm not one of those kids who is just going to college as a rite of passage. Like for me, this is so I'm going to provide for myself, for my family back home. Just everything was hanging in this degree. The first thing I did was, who on earth is computers and structures, you know? So I looked him up, you know, found his amazing software, and I had to come, because I don't think he knows just what he did for me. I don't think he realizes the impact of, I know it's probably not a lot for him, but it was life-changing for me. So meeting him and just getting to hear him talk, and he's just like very down to earth, very funny, very easygoing. Um, <laughs> that was something really special and I think inspiring. Just that he started his own company as an international student. Um, just that story about his professor who wrote him a check and now he's writing you know, hundreds of checks for people. It's just very inspiring. It comes again to show um, how important people are. I started CSI as a software company um, before there was Microsoft. And everybody told me at that time uh, that it wouldn't work um, because software was developed at universities by professors right. and they gave it away for free. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna starve, you know, so that was, and, and, um, uh, and if I had thought about it and I had actually <laughs> listened to it, I would probably not have started CSI. Right. But to start something at a time when it's never been done before does take a certain level of stupidity. 
uh, now for it to last 50 years, uh, that takes genius. And the genius is, of course, not embedded in me. It's embedded in uh, everybody that uses the software. Um, and, and just the people that work at the company that develop the stuff and all of the professors that give us feedback on new technology, new theories, um, all of the students that use it in, in their classwork and coursework and research. And so it's, it's all the people that make a dynamic like that uh, happen. You know, it's, it's not something that uh, uh, you do alone. Uh, the story is amazing in the sense that you know, I look at my life and I think about all the amazing things that have happened and I would love to take credit for them, you know, but um, I know uh, deep in my heart it's all about the people. One of the things that is also core to our mission is this idea of community and the idea of connection. And we know that we're stronger and better together. Uh, we always have been, we always will be. And um, Ashraf is also absolutely dedicated to that mission of human connection. And Ashraf said really eloquently that we as a community of people in STEM um, have the responsibility to build those personal relationships and prioritize people in our fields because that's who uh, we serve as people and as people in STEM. I think it really means a lot. I really appreciate him, um, you know, just being able to come here and see what his funds have impacted us as a community and as a campus because without him, I definitely don't think we would be where we are today. Ashraf, thank you very much. Um, you probably do not know just what you did for me, but it was life-changing. Thank you.